the correct sequence in a golf swing is crucial to making good contact, power and direction. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Something I hear all the time on the mat is what's the right sequence? And what people mean by right sequence is what is moving when? Now understand, and I talk about it all of the time, we've got the heavy end and we've got the light end. The light end is bad news. If something is light in your hands, you don't feel it. Something heavy, it wakes up the proprioceptors and it will give you more of an insight into where you are in space. So whenever we move the golf club, we are always trying to put energy in the handle via the club head. So when we stand to the golf ball, the very first thing that all golfers should do is allow the club head to sit on top of the ground and not in the ground. And what I mean by that is if I just leave that club head on the floor, there is no weight in the head and the head is in the floor. If I now take the strain, like a power lifter doing a deadlift, they take the strain, they load their musculoskeletal system and then they pull. What they don't do is go from nothing to everything. That's bad news for the body. And so in the same way, my left, uh, my left hand and my right hand work together. That golf club is now hovering off the floor. You can't see it, it looks no different to that, to that. So those two points there, I've now taken the strain of the club head. This immediately loads your shoulders, immediately. It gives you the sense that the golf club is in your handle. We're feeling the pad of the left hand. We're feeling the right hand elevate the club head up. So a great little way to get you started, just hover the club head up and just feel how the left hand pushes down and the right hand pushes up. Now, at this point, waking up your feet is crucial. So you see it all the time now and you see all this lifting up and turning the toe out and all this dancing around, all nonsense and trendy faddy stuff. But the reality is that you want to feel your right foot, left foot pushing you sideways because you're trying to create some motion that is going to oppose the direction of the handle. So as you start to move the club off to the right, as I'm pushing the club off to the right and I'm pushing it down and off to the right, down and off to the right, I need a force that with my feet is going to oppose the direction the handle's moving. So if I move the handle off in that direction, I push with my left foot, I'm gonna be off down the street. And that's where you'll discourage rotation. So as I move the golf club away, what I'm feeling is an energy through my right foot and a push away of the handle. Push down and away. As I start to move the golf club back, I'm then feeling a lengthening of my right leg. So I'm pushing down, I'm pushing my body sideways, and now that opens up my hip. At that point, it feels like the pressure on the handle starts to suck my chest around. So I go push, push, and move to the side. So that's the start energy of a takeaway. Push, push, push. Push down with the handle, push with the foot, push with the, with the handle to the right. And now all of a sudden you can see where I am in my takeaway. I've started to really feel how my chest moves away from the golf ball. As I then start to move up to the top, I'm really sensing how the handle starts to feel like the club head is going to fall below the height of the handle. That's crucial. Loads the right shoulder and gets the shaft on the right pitch. So as I take the golf club away, push down and move to the right, right foot pushing left, that gets me started. As I start to lift the handle up in the latter third of my golf swing, as I'm lifting the handle up, I'm feeling the head try to fall to the right as I start to load into my left leg. So I'm push, push and pull away, elevate the arms, lay the shaft down, energy into the toe. And whilst that seems a lot, 
It is. But when you can isolate it down in all the different components, it all of a sudden becomes the guy at the front of the stage conducting the orchestra, an orchestra of moves. One quick tip, ain't going to do it. One quick nod to the violinist at the back there isn't going to make a hit record. So when we start to think about how we're moving back, all of a sudden I've now got a very clear idea of what's moving what, where the energy is coming from. So now when I'm at the top of the backswing, now I'm feeling how the handle can pull towards the target. And as I'm pulling the handle towards the target, I'm using my left foot to move the left foot pressure from toe to heel. And what starts to happen is it feels like it sucks my hip underneath me. But not only that, it pulls my chest forwards. And because it pulls my chest forwards, it then is sympathetic with the handle going outwards. So from the top of the backswing, the pull of the handle and the push of the foot are absolutely happening at the same time. And you can see how my left hip is moving back. I'm not doing any of this garbage, this turning of the left foot out and whatever, whatever that nonsense is, because the left foot turning out is just rolling the foot over. The left, foot, the, the left knee rather kicks out because of the energy the hip has sucking back as I push the force towards my heel. And then at that point, now I'm a bit more sucked over the golf ball. So I've got to the top, I've pulled and I've pushed the force back. Now the handle's out in front of me. At this point, I'm now feeling how the force starts to move down. The right shoulder's gonna start to feel like it's coming in, coming in. And for all of those guys out there and girls that believe the right shoulder shouldn't come forwards, what do you think of that little uh, motion there? So the handle's moving forwards, pressure's going back into the heel, force is going down into the floor with the handle. Now I'm a bit more over the golf ball, but the chest forwards and the pressure back into my heel has now stabilized my body. That's why I can stand here, tucked under with my pelvis, chest is on top. Now I've got force down into the handle. In primary location to get that down strike from the inside, and a closed face to path. So the sequence of events from the top of the backswing, I'm going pull, push from toe to heel. Then I'm feeling how the handle is gonna to start to feel like it works in the same direction as the force is going through my foot. Look what it's doing with the direction the face is looking in. And at that point, I've got so much momentum with the right side of my body that all of a sudden, it allows me to move my body around the golf ball. Around the golf ball. So there's a lot going on. But if you're thinking that the sequence of a golf swing is about pumping, stopping, pumping, stopping, pumping, stopping, it doesn't work that way. This golf club is moving in space all of the time. And you need to be aware of where the energy is coming from. And you can see that the club head will move slower, the handle will move faster. That's because the weight is always going to slow that end down and make that end feel like it can move faster. And so feeling like you can create this energy in the handle, slow the energy in the handle down because it balances up the two points a little bit more, which is why I always lean towards heavier golf clubs than lighter ones because it gives you a much better proprioception of what's going on in the handle to sequence up your golf swing. So as I start to make some swings here, you can now understand the push, the push, the lift, the pull, the push, the pressure, the strike through, through the bottom of the, the swing there, and how my right side really starts to move around. It's a complex move, but all you golfers out there are looking for a way to deliver downstrike, good path lines, draw shots, yet we get caught up in positional play rather than thinking about how we're trying to move around the golf ball to hit golf shots in the right direction. 
And so if I was ever to rehearse, it would be that kind of thing. Push, push, lift, lay, forward, push, pressure down and around me so that I start to really feel how I'm trying to move the golf club around in space. Presser, pressure, lift, lay, forwards, push, pressure down. And hopefully, if you're tired of paying too much for premium leather golf gloves, do head over and check out my channel sponsor, GX Golf Gloves. These gloves are trusted by elite amateurs and tour players alike. Use my code GOODCOACHING to receive 10% on your next order. You can understand how the sequence of events is about how you're shifting a weight around. If you get a kettlebell and you just try to move that kettlebell around you, you'll feel the heavier the kettlebell gets, i.e. that what's feeling your hands, how heavy your hands are getting, you'll start to really tie up with how your feet need to be part of that motion and if we don't use our feet right which is why I talk about it extensively in a lot of my videos one of them is up in the top right hand corner now you'll really understand how the feet go hand in hand with what you're feeling through the handle and what you're feeling through the club head it's crucial to sequencing sequencing is not that kind of thing, it just won't work. Because the club, as soon as it comes to a standstill, lost all of the energy in the direction it should be moving in. So we're always trying to feel how the golf club is gonna move in space so that you can start to feel how the golf club is part of a swinging lever to hit down from the in and around to hit beautiful little draws. I think you'll find that, my friends, is good coaching. <laughs>